Hi, I'm Krista, a former U.S. visa officer, and I'm here to talk to you today about what's going on behind the U.S. visa interview window. I know what I'm talking about here because I have sat behind that visa interview window for hundreds of hours and I've conducted thousands of US visa interviews. I know what a visa officer is looking at and I know what they're looking for in the visa interview. So let's talk about a few tips of what the visa officer is looking at when they're in the visa interview window and how that matters for your visa interview. The first thing is that the visa officer is always on a computer. They've got a computer computer at the station with them. They're looking at it. They're interacting with you, but they're also really fixated on the computer. What are they looking at there? Well, they've got access to all kinds of records on that computer. As soon as they load your case into the system, they're looking at your US visa application history. So that means what kinds of visas have you applied for? What date? What was the outcome? They've got a quick summary of that on their screen. They also have access to all the case notes that an officer has taken in your prior cases, if you've ever applied for a visa before. And they also can look very quickly at your travel history to the United States, if you've ever traveled before. They also immediately have access to any records that are associated with your fingerprints. That's including any applications in which USCIS might have taken your fingerprints or if you were ever arrested in the United States. So those are things that are immediately jumping out to the visa officer as soon as they load your case into their computer. Now, they're always looking back and forth on the computer and it's because they're looking at the DS-160 most of the time. They're seeing, okay, what did this person say about their case? Where are they gonna travel? Where do they work? They're getting their first impression about the case from the DS-160. So if a visa officer in the course of your interview leaves the visa interview window, a lot of people ask, what are they doing if they get up? Well. It's usually because the case that you're presenting goes beyond their expertise and knowledge and they need to go ask a manager or a superior or another colleague, hey, what should I do about this case? There's a few elements in it that I need to discuss with someone else before I can make a decision. This usually means that the case is pretty complex and if this is your situation, you really want to work on making sure that your answers to the visa officer are as concise as possible and they're also really explaining your case coherently. If you're confusing the visa officer more with your responses, this is not going to be good for your case, okay? And the other thing, officers are typing a lot at the visa window. They're on their computer, they're typing, they're looking back and forth. What are they actually typing? Well, they're typing notes. And like I said before, these notes are a permanent part of your visa record. So they'll usually put a very quick summary of what your case is, where you wanna travel, maybe how old you are, your job, highlights about your case, things that are going to either justify the issuance or the rejection of the visa. A lot of times they'll put some pretty general stuff to show that, okay, I was convinced by this applicant or no, this applicant didn't just convince me. If they're going to issue the visa, a lot of times they'll just say that the applicant presents well, their uh, purpose of travel seems legitimate, they seem like a valid traveler, they have prior international travel. If they're going to reject the visa, they can also put something very vague that kind of justifies the doubts they have in your case. And they might say something like, not confident the visa applicant will use the visa correctly. So if that's on your permanent record, you're definitely going to deal with that when you come back to a subsequent interview, if you're rejected and you have to kind of remember how your prior interview went and what they asked you, what maybe they had doubts about in your case so that you can address those doubts at your new interview. Now, if you come up to the visa window and the officer is just absolutely glued to their screen, they're not looking away from it at any moment, they're just reading the whole time, they're not making any eye contact with you, this sometimes happens, what does it mean? Well, it means that there's something on their screen in your record that they need to get to the bottom of to understand before they can even start interviewing you. This will usually happen if there's some kind of arrest in your past or if you had a visa revoked in the past past, usually, to be honest, this is not a good thing. If the officer is glued to the screen trying to figure out what's going on with your case, there's probably something derogatory or negative in your case, and you've got to be really prepared as soon as you start answering questions to directly address whatever is in the system. 
do so in a way that is concise, coherent, and really convinces the visa officer that whatever's in the system does not bar them from issuing you the visa. So those are a few things that are going on behind the visa interview window when you go up there. If you have further questions or you wanna get prepared for your visa interview, please reach out to us at Argo. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you.